All right, hello friends, welcome back. I love this like menu screen, just like, ooh, the smokiness and the rain, just, oh, I'm so excited. But today we're playing Alone in the Dark. I am so in the mood for something just dark and spooky. We played the demo slash prologue a little while ago. And I don't know if I have ever screamed so loud from any video game ever before, but it there was a jump scare in it and it got me really good. Uh, oh, bear? Goodness. Bear? Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! That scared the fucking shit out of me! <laughs> so, I think it bodes well for the rest of the game. I don't think this game is very long. It's probably only like four or five hours and you can play it through twice with different characters, so... We've got a little game here, a little bit of spookiness to indulge in, but I'm excited. Um, I guess I'll have to say, let's just go. Oh, old school or modern? Um, I don't know. I kind of tempted. Let's let's do old school. I don't know. That sounds right. Hello, Mr. Frog. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, that's a crocodile. Oh, oh, don't hit the crocodile. Okay, good. So I know nothing about this story. I didn't play the one, this is like a reimagining of one that came out in the 90s. Never played that one either. So, your uncle, what's wrong with him? He's possessed. Uh -huh. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him, watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Okay. That could just be, you know, disposition to But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Russian. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray in his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? Kind of sounds like schizophrenia. It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnegie. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. That's are. harsh, but okay. I think this scene right here is how the, the demo slash prologue ended just seeing them walk up my uncle's not well mr carnby i want to make sure he's all right then what's my part in this you couldn't get a cab i just wouldn't feel safe going alone okay i think he's like a private detective or something did you bring a gun yeah you think it'll actually come to that no but you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Uh, okay. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Okay. Me time? Yes, I get to pick. Emily Hartwood, played by Jodie Comer, I guess? And Edward Carnaby by David Harbour. I do recognize these actors. I think we're gonna play as Emily. Hello? 
everything's so quiet. Where is everyone? This is a big place. Maybe they're on the other side of the house. Stay here. I'll have a look. What's the point of having him if you were just going to tell him to stay there? Chapter 1. Okay, this is me. I also have a gun? Okay, she failed to mention that. Look her way inside the house. Check. Okay, I'm moving. I'm running. Aiming, I assume if I pull the other trigger I shoot. That's to look. Can I crouch? Yeah, I can crouch like that. Um, okay. One shot. Spookies. I just dawned on me that there's going to be spookies. Like, I know I said I'm in the mood for it, but now I'm like, oh, right, now I have to survive through it. <laughs> I haven't been playing anything spooky lately. A flashlight? What's this? And a key? Is that a key sitting there? Flashlight. Clue. Thank you. And the kitchen garden key. You can look at it. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's switch on my flashlight. Perfect. We played Alan Wake recently. We know what we're doing. I guess that was probably the last... Oh no, I played Silent Hill, that like, um, mess, secret message or the silent message thing. That's the last spooky thing I played. Hello? That Silent Hill game was disturbing. <laughs> As Silent Hills normally are. Hello. Still the bullets. Got it. Okay. Ooh, I've got some. Hold on. Let's, uh. Okay. I think that's better. I just turned some of my settings down. N namely, motion blur. Nobody likes motion. Oh! Did you see that? Was the, there was something in there. Okay. Let's just say it was a cat and be happy with that thought. I don't think I'll be able to get in there. I need a key or bolt cutters. <sighs> There's always bolt cutters in these games. This is a pretty place. This is so pretty. Okay. We need... Do you have something for me? No, maybe I can end up putting something in the statue. Oh boy, some frame rate drops. I don't know if that's my computer or the game. Oh well. Rude! Whoa. That is quite the tree to grow indoors. There's definitely lots of spooky sounds. Can't touch the door. I go up the stairs. Nope. I can grab this. Health potion. Okay. This is so cool. This must be older than Dorsetto. They've built the house around it. Very cool. In Dorsetto, that is the name of this place. Maybe I should have looked at the story for the original, but housekeeper's key. Oh, hello, Opa. My cat just jumped up onto my desk. You can lay down, buddy. Here you go, lay down. You can be here, but you must lay down. Oh boy. There. All right, I have visibility again. Although my cat's tail is right in front of the screen. Oh my gosh. It's all right. I'm sure we can play through it. Is the housekeeper key for the shed? This door is locked. Yes. Hello? There. Break into Dorsetto. Oh, I didn't break in. I just... What is that sound? Oh, that's weird.
here. It feels, it sounds really uncomfortable in my ear too. I'll just take this. Yes. You're related to the person that owns this place, right? This is your family's manor, so they're basically your things. Ammo. Family Bible. Every Clue. day your silence Ooh, weighs voices. a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Voodoo? I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, <laughs> but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around, that the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madam. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madam. Mm. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. A lot of that was not written. Okay. Are you locked? Hello? Kitchen. I don't really... In the prologue, we started upstairs as the little girl. We saw Jeremy, right? He... Oh! He wrote a letter, maybe the letter that we had in the beginning, and he wanted the little girl to send it for him because he thought someone was like reading his letters, so he wanted her to send it in his stead, hoping to get his word out, I guess. It's unsettling, as always. Rat poison. What was the last special items that you can find through the game? Legniapis? I don't know what that word is. Jeez. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Okay. Carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both Carnaby's and Emily's campaign. Okay. So you might have to play both. Lots of bullets. Oh, oh no. One singular bullet. Hello? Oh, I 100% expected that to be locked. Okay, what's this other direction, though? Oh, I was gonna say it's a... Okay, we 
can go up or we can stay downstairs. Oh. A long engagement. When I get back, John Marcus 1918. Jeremy's warning. Oh, it's not dated. Is this? No. I wonder what year it is now. Sabotage, a clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay. Someone sabotaged the boiler. Oh, which means I can't. Ah, uh, okay. I can't come through here right now. Oh! Can't select that yet, so we need to find some broken plates. Okay, puzzles is what I want to see. Imagine we're supposed to go upstairs. beside me. Rats. I like rats. Don't pester me. I'm opening things and not getting anything. Are you... Okay. I need a key. That's not unexpected. Streetcar ticket. I don't know what that word is. Lagniappy? Let's, let's have Google Translate. <laughs> Oh, it means something given as a bonus or extra gift. Log me up is how you say it. Okay, we're going into the main house. Oh gosh, having some frame rate issues. It's fine. We're here for the story, not the graphics. I don't really remember the layout of the house. I know that we started upstairs. Dorsetto floor plans. Got it. Okay. Now I know where I am. Conservatory, which is where we were already. Okay, they color code them if I'm done there. Got it. Bolt the door, lock door, block door, door. Got it. Okay. There's so much to explore. Oh, and the piazza key. Oh, what's this? Locked. Oh. Ooh, okay, so I, it'll list my keys and I still have to pick the right one. Why does it sound like something is like skittering around the halls? Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent this is all Charlotte, day looking then. for Jeremy. I should care for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Hmm. Okay. So we need a little key to open the medicine box. To open the map. Map is updated information about the world. Okay. Oh. 
it, it narrates everything. Surprised by her own reckless decision, Emily found herself breaking into Dorsetto. She mulled over how to present her story in case she got caught, but couldn't think of anything that sounded convincing. She wasn't much of a fast talker. Best to find a way to open the front door and let Detective Carnaby inside so he can handle the situation. Find the front door and let Carnaby inside. Okay. So, Grand Parlor is where uh, the little girl had the key we need for the medicine box. It's the live. Oh, I need to hold it. How do I get to the small part? Oh, through the library. Okay. Can I go this way? I need the key. Okay. There we go. So, where does this lead? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. We've been down there. Hello. <gasps> the bear. Oh, I know where we are now. Whoa. This looks very different from the last time we were here. This is where. This is where we came down. Is it Grace? Is that? <gasps> That's a little girl's name. Oh! Wait, don't. No. Hello, sir. Excuse me? Do you know where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? Of course not. McCarthy, what are you doing? I told you not to lose sight of the girl. Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Where can come from? Who are you people? What are you doing here? I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. His name is Jeremy Hartwood. H hello? What are you doing, child? You shouldn't be alone. Go find McCarthy. Who are you? Are you here for the Fay Dodo? Go upstairs now. Urgh. My name is Emily Hartwood. I I I'm the niece of Jeremy Hartwood. This is Detective Carnby. The police? Why are you here? No, I'm a private investigator. Sorry to bother you. My client's worried about her uncle. He's a patient here at Dresetto. If you don't mind, could you direct us where to find him? No, I can't. Jeremy has gone missing. If you leave your information, I will make sure to contact you. Wait, he ran away? No, he won't leave the house. He's around here somewhere, and both of our orderlies are looking for him. That's unacceptable. Where's Dr. Gray? I want to speak with him immediately. Yes. Fine. I'll Be forceful. ask him. Wait here and don't touch anything. I will be touching everything. So this is like a institution. It's not like her house or like her family's home. Do you want to see Jeremy's room? Yes, please. Can you show us? Follow me. So we played as that little girl and we came down those stairs and right there is where I got that really big scare. So maybe that was just like maybe that was just her imagination. She was just pretending she was trudging through a, you know, forest overtaken manor with monsters in the water. Thank you. She would have been the last one to see Jeremy, right? Strange kid. Mm. Let's look around, see what we can find. Art lover. Ooh, locked box. Let me touch things. Do the puzzles. Don't have the proper key. We can read that. Anything else worth touching? Oh, he's a painter. These are his statues. Look how creepy. Is it holding a heart? Let's read his journal. The commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish 
so that I can rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. Okay. Oh, there's more pages. Okay, it only reads the first page. I wonder if I skipped pages from the other journals. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boiler in the basement would lead me to the cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Teruela? I want that more than anything. Please let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonkra? Tonkra? Instead, she cruelly told Batiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a, like, what a terrible thing to say. The people of Dorsetto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and, and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the cleric, Mr. Waits. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard? The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered a dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. Ooh. Maybe these are hints to puzzles? Okay, painted tile, excellent. Um, for this thing. So that's fine. Have you ever seen anything like this? Looks like a talisman. You mean like this one? Oh, jeez. That Jeremy? Can you find me a knife to cut the canvas? I want to take this with me. You want to take the painting? Sure, I'll find one. Trapped in the painting? Okay, that was aggressive. I found a tube as well to keep it safe for you. Do you want to carry it or should I? Miss Hartwood. Emily? I'll take it. Thank you. We're done here, right? That's strange. I'm not sure. I don't know how to do any of this. Listen, I think we should talk to Dr. Gray. He must know something about what's going on around here. Okay. Let's do that. Come on, I don't want to be here all night. Detective Carnby? Where did... Oh. Ooh, did the place go dark? Ooh, 
there's like a dark version. And we're in a city? Get the corner store right there. Okay. We were transported somewhere. This is more like the version that we know of from the prologue, right? Gosh, there's bugs on the walls. Paintings are all wrecked. Everything's changed. <gasps> what? Nope. Oh, it's time for combat. Okay, okay. I can do this. What is that? Oh, Jesus! Oh, I need to move. I'm stuck. Oh god. Kill a monster with a- okay. Uh, uh, I wanted some space. That was not good. Holy. Gun sounds are really loud too. What a way to be cheeky and draw me into a trap one sneak by. Fog tells me no. I can't go that way. Okay, okay. I'm fine with that. Let's stay in the semi-clear air. This can't be. We're in a totally different place. <sighs> Love it when it tells you how to sprint. Okay, I think that's the store we're going to. Let's just take a quick peek around. Jeez. My oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Okay, melee does not feel very good. <laughs> oh. Just saying. Uh, items, items can be thrown at enemies or used to distract them. Tap right trigger to quickly throw an item. I don't have anything to throw. Oh, that was a healing potion that I just wasted. Oh. I just we throw enemies. Okay. Where am I throwing this? Maybe in the light? Okay. I don't like any of this. Hotel St. George. Yeah, give me the health stuff. I was so excited for that melee weapon, and then it just- I broke it immediately. Johnny the Conqueror. Roots and medicine? Hello? What the heckin' just happened? It's fun going into games like this without any previous knowledge, because I do not know what to expect. Oh, sir. Oh my god. Dorsetto. Looking for my uncle Jeremy? Jeremy's your uncle. I didn't know. Why would you? You're still working at Dorsetto? How did you yeah, know each other then? Lana stuck around. We're real orderless now. Y you remember my sister Lada, don't you? 
I'd like to take that with me if you don't what mind. What happened, Batiste? How are we here? You know about the dark man haunting your uncle? I'm familiar with his mental state. I think we all in his head somehow. Because these streets are real, but they're not like on any map. Nah, this is like when you remember something, but in the wrong way. Do you know how to get back to Dorsetto? I'm not safe here. Truer words have yet been spoken, Mrs. Marcus. Don't call me that. Oh. It's Miss Emily Hartwood. There's no reason to call me anything else. I'm sorry, Miss Emily. I'm just trying to tell you like it is. This place ain't safe for no one. Maybe that was There's her evil name? hiding in the dark. How do I get back? Only Jeremy knows how. He has this juju necklace guiding him. You mean this talisman? Mm -hmm. Just like it. He says it's been protecting him ever since he got it from Miss Jackson down the street. You know where it came from? Have you been there? I was there no more than one hour ago looking for Jeremy. Locked it up to keep the ghouls from getting inside. You can have the key if you want. Thank you. Thank you. I'll take a look. Stay safe, Miss. His journal said that everyone was safe except for him, though. Holy. Matisse Keys, thank you. That was, that was a lot. This is all a lot. Anything else? Are you staying here? For a while. I want to see if Jeremy shows up. But we got ghouls outside. And we're just... Pretty accepting of that. Oh, preserved reptile. We like collectibles. Okay, we're going down to someone's store down the street. Oh my gosh. I was about to say I'm getting like Silent Hill vibes and like, yeah, definitely. Oh, can I do this? I can hear it. Can I pick this up? I missed. It's not helpful. Be sneaky. to hit this thing. Uh, running. Okay. Okay. I better get better at this. Because ammo is gonna be... Oh, there's another one. So I could have snuck around and just hit it with bricks? With an axe, this makes me feel better. Hello? Oh. This is a pretty house. All those spooky. Ammo. Love this. Take all the time to look around. What the heck? Am Gross. I don't really know anything about voodoo. Where? Okay, 
Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Okay. That one better. Ooh, that's a Molotov. Okay. I wonder if because I chose old school. Ooh. I feel like I hear one walking around. It's not like showing me where things are until I'm much closer to them. Molotovs around here. And I got bullets. Maybe I can lure an enemy down here and throw Molotov. Jesus! Run, Emily! Like that, like that, like that, like that. Oh my gosh. What did it throw at me? Oh, I missed. Can't turn fast enough. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Oh, boy. Okay. That went fine. Oh, okay. Still running, still running, still running, still running. Brick. Oh, they move. Okay. 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 We're good? I use so many bullets though, and I'm like, no more melee, no more throwing weapons, only bullets. What are these now? Can I come upstairs now? Cool. Just gonna jump out of one of these doors for me. Ooh, more ammo. Okay. Good things. Ooh, I can throw you. Does that mean something's about to jump out of me? Probably. Hello? Ooh, this feels safe. This must be Miss Jackson's place. Let's see if we can find out more about Jeremy's talisman. Okay. Is that it? It looks exactly like Jeremy's talisman. Mine. Find your own talisman. An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Okay. Use talisman to get back to Darsetto. Okay, I use that. Let's look around here first. So we're going to come and go. Do I have keys? Um, can I... It will not let me select A. Okay. I'm assuming that means I can't do anything with that. Nothing else? Okay. I think it's meant to hold the talisman. I should use. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Yeah, I was gonna say there was something. Um Okay. There are always three numbers stern. Oh, eight, five, and three. Talisman plate sockets. Eight, five, and three are circled. Oh, okay. Where do I need to put... I just have to match up the holes? Oh. What's that picture in the glass? Where is that? That's Dorsetto. 
I'm not quite sure how I did that, but I knew the numbers to use. I just wasn't really sure where to put them. Um, it showed this picture. Oh, this door is open now. Good to see you again, Miss Hartwood. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. She also alerted me that you brought a detective Whoa. with you. I'm very curious to hear what this is all about. You this is Dr. Gray, I presume? Me, do you, Miss Hartwood? We met at your family's house in the Garden District when your uncle was about to be admitted under my care. No, I remember. Sorry. I'm not really feeling well. Oh, in that case, have a seat. Let me make you a drink. I don't seem to have made much of an impression on you. On the other hand, I can vividly recall you and your parents. Because of our cheerful disposition, I'm sure. You are far too intelligent to think that. You come from a joyless family, Miss Hartwood. The only amusement I took from my visit was discovering that the young lady's drink was an old-fashioned. Very astute. Is that supposed to make you seem attentive or intelligent? Whatever you prefer. <laughs> uh, I don't prefer you in I any way. Tell I... me why you are here, Miss Hartwood, and why you brought a detective. I received a letter from my uncle. He seemed certain that he was in danger here. If I find out you're treating him badly, I'll be taking him back with me to New Orleans. Really? Is he going to live with you in your tiny garçonniere? That would be a spectacular way to ratify your spinsterhood. Wow. Because you are well aware that your father would never let him back in his house. No, I have it. Maybe you can bring him back up north. Why are you such an ass, like, right out the gate, dude? Eight years, haven't you? You always preferred your mother's side of the family. Jeremy is free to leave with you. I won't object. However, there is one problem, as you might have learned. He is, in fact, missing. Do you know where he could have gone? No, I'm afraid I don't. I have my staff looking for him. I'm sure he will show up eventually. Especially if he learns that you are here. He is quite fond of you. What can you tell me about his condition? I never heard a proper diagnosis. What is your medical opinion of him? Well, let me think. He is an anxious man. Depressed, even. He suffers from a perceived lack of order in his inner and outer life. He constantly complains about events not presenting themselves according to their divine nature. In the dark man? Hard to tell if it was ever anything specific. Jeremy uses the dark man as a psychological scapegoat to avoid facing the truth that he is in any way at fault. You don't think there can be any truth to the dark man's supernatural existence? Why would you ask that? I... Can we ever be sure? If the dark man is some sort of evil presence that is in possession of Jeremy? Well... I assure you, any evidence that you experience supporting that claim is purely delusional. Don't get caught up in mass hysteria, Miss Hartwood. You wouldn't want to take your uncle's place in this hospital, would you? Uh, I'll be leaving now, Doctor. I need to keep looking for my uncle. Do so, Miss Hartwood. I'll let you know if he shows up. Okay, why are you, like, immediately so sinister? Oh, God, that's chapter one. I don't feel like I know what's going on at all. God, I'm I'm glad to see you. I was afraid you had left. Me? You're the one who just disappeared. It's hard to explain. I think I blacked out. I, it was like I went somewhere else. It's okay, miss. You're clearly upset. No. Well, what was Carnaby up to? I don't know what's happening. I, this is a very stressful situation for you, I understand? Ugh, no, you don't understand. Just take a deep breath. Why don't you sit down, smoke some of the Perique. If you want, I could even drive you back to New Orleans. I just want to have a talk with Dr. Gray first. I want to stay. I found a talisman just like the one in the painting. I think I might be able to figure out where Tarawea is, where Jeremy wanted to go. 
That's great. Just stay out of trouble, okay? Let me handle the investigation. Okay. I'm not crazy, detective. Not yet. <laughs> okay, catch you later. Okay. If a talisman like this can open up doors between the French Quarter and Dorsetto, then maybe Jeremy is hiding in some strange other world, like Tarawea, the place he mentioned in the book. No matter where he is, it's clear that my search won't be limited to Dorsetto. Okay, and that's kind of what he said in his journal. Obsolete items have been archived. Oh. Um, this thing. How did you know that the battered boiler in the basement would lead me to the cemetery? Or the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motives would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? These are my memories, my pasts. Okay. Okay. So different areas lead us to different places. And there are monsters if you... Oh! Oh, we've, we were, we've been in this room before too. This is the this is the letter room. This is where Grace... Uh, Grace's prologue ended. But okay, we're not going to touch anything. I think leaving this like chapter by chapter is going to be a nice and easy way uh, to cut it. Um, I really don't know what's going on. There's definitely some good spooky atmosphere and just jarring stuff. I don't like the melee combat, but maybe I'll get used to it. The gun feels good though. Yeah, I remember this. Grace came in through that door and then we went to go deliver the letter. I think we crawled through this and then something like attacked or ate us in there oh gosh maybe that hasn't happened yet although we think that it was the letter that she went to send was the letter that emily got in the mail so maybe it has i don't know i don't know what's going on but i'm having a good time <laughs> thank you very much for watching and starting alone in the dark with me definitely more to come soon we got to figure out what the heck is going on and have a good day